Hello everyone, this is KJ, and welcome back to No Man's Sky 2024, or Late Night with KJ. <laughs> it's super late. It's, it's, uh, I'm gonna get yelled at by Annie and Lava late. Uh, we're gonna continue with the, uh, Artemis mission. We're actually doing Ghosts in the Machine right now. We just, uh, finished our contact with Apollo's contact, expanding the base business. And uh, now we're supposed to return to space to make contact with Apollo. And probably we could go to the anomaly and get paid, maybe? I think that's a possibility. Looks like Apollo's going to call us first. Yep, that's him. Uh, how's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. Yeah, I hired a scientist. Uh, if you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. Okay, so this is the part where we have to go, uh, I have first have to itch my ear. First, this is the part where we have to go talk to a quote-unquote multi-tool technician, uh, but in actuality, it's just whichever technician wants to talk to us and take our nanites. Uh, you can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings trade these uh, with merchants and space stations. They have changed this text. It used to literally say a multi-tool technician. So there's an update. Here's a person, personal force field that I don't need. Um, I think I have to install it. And uh, I also need to uninstall it. Because <laughs> it gets irritating. <laughs> Uh, oh, it wants me to go get nanites, even though I have some. Here's a abandoned building right there. So any building that's uh, got the um, monstrosity eggs outside that isn't an abandoned planet. An abandoned planet will have monstrosity eggs outside of every building except for trade posts and small settlements, but uh, will have the regular equipment inside, which I, I think we ran into that recently. Last time? Time for that? I don't know. Approximate location this Hello Games. I'm not interested in playing games with you. There's a building right there. It's not abandoned, though. It's actually... It's actually a minor settlement. And as I'm always up for shopping... <laughs> Howdy, I'm here! Fine. Oh, it's got a crystal. It's A-class, too. I think we've already uh, reloaded Nicopia system. But we got some nanites! Shut up, Viking dude busy. Got things to do. Where is this ridiculous place? It's that way. Alright, you stay here, Shippo. Don't go fooling around and moving off of the thing. I need to get put, put a real gun on this thing. I think we'll put a pulse spitter on this, because you know, it's not the best weapon and it's not very efficient, but it is my favorite one. I should have, like, looked around. I don't see any building signals. Ah, oh, where are you? Evil plant of evil. Ooh, you're kind of nice looking. Oh, I've scanned you before. Uh, Z, uh, Fregale, what? Z, Fregacelium. It's always foraging. It enjoys cave marrow. I have some. Here's the abandoned building. You can see the eggs. I can't seem to mark the building, though. Alright, let's go. This building's all broken and stuff. But it's on an active planet. It's not an abandoned planet. You can tell because I just went into that minor settlement. And uh, it was fine. The sidewalk at this place is infected. It's odd. It doesn't go all the way to the door. 
All right, let's get some nanites. Oh, stop it, Gamo. You're not getting me hit by that dang thing. All right, there it is. It's in there. There you are. Aha! <laughs> Wait, is that a pulse spitter? I thought that was a... Um... Oh, we have a pulse spitter. Never mind. Where's the thing, my bob? Oh, for goodness sake. Did I walk right past it? Look, now it says it's over here. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> you know what? Just give me the nanites. I'm not really interested in your slimy story of slime and goo. Something that will help me along my journey. All right, fine. I'm curious. Nanites. Hey, there's a word. All right. We're not going to play with any of those eggs. I shouldn't have touched the eggs. It says, see, it's, they didn't change that label. It still says multi-tool technology merchant. That's the thing with Hello Games. You can't argue that I don't love this game because I have over 7,000 hours in it. But I will tell you honestly, as someone who's been playing the game since 2018, well, Hello Games could use to finish their jobs once in a while. Be a little bit more thorough with that money that we've all spent on your game. A bunch of us, especially people like me with loads of hours, we tend to buy this game more than once. I've paid for it three times. So they have more sales than they have actual customers. I know a lot of people that have bought multiple copies. The least they could do is finish the job. Look, the gosh darn thing is pointing at the multi-tool merchant, <laughs> making a complete ass out of me. Stop it, Hello Games. Stop fixing things when I'm complaining about them still. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I should just start over, but I'm not going to because this signal has led you to the guy behind me, the uh, exosuit merchant, for years. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your nanites. Now I've got something I have to install and then I gotta take it off of there. I did it. When ready, return to space. Don't uninstall the wrong thing. Oh look, it's a hot dog. <laughs> Right, I'm not going to speculate about any more of Hello Games' persistent, years-long bugs. <laughs> Source unknown? Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. Oh, it's Null. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There's no need to hurry. He's just trying to slow me down. I think it's time to go talk to Nada. Oh, first we have to finish talking to Apollo. Yeah, yeah, I got it. He was checking up on me, Apollo. I find it rude. You're a robot, too. I'm not a robot. I'm a person that looks like a robot. Secret Corvax factory. Fine. Oh, look at the cool nebula. It's a stormy storm. 
go get paid. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe Apollo doesn't want to talk to me right now. Uh, no, he doesn't. Oops. I turned off the signal. Oh, man. Why did I do this at home? <laughs> There's no adventure in doing this at home. Actually, there is. It's always better to pick a place that you've already scoped out to do this. You're going to get sent all over the galaxy. Uh, two, uh, two times you're going to be tossed around the galaxy. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a good idea. And uh, if you're way ahead of me, which you should be, because I'm releasing these one at a time, um, if you're way ahead of me, then uh, remember to put a uh, portal down, I mean a beacon down at the portal, or a base computer, or some way for you to find it again. Oh look, it's a dog. Hi. Oh. Do you need pettins? <laughs> Go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to blast down the door and have an argument with the Sentinels. Well, we don't have to argue with them. We can just blow the door off and uh, ignore them. Or you can argue with them. I'm going to ignore them. I want to get this done. Reload. Reload. Oh, I should probably get rid of that shield before it gets me killed. There we go. Uh, yeah, that. Because uh, with the shield in place, that doesn't work. It just keeps bringing up my shield because I'm terrible at changing, you know? You can stop in the middle of that and go get the things that it asks for. You don't have to bring them with you. I think probably some of that was on the freighter and some of it was on me. Shine a light upon it. This is very sad, but uh, the right thing to do here there's a small hairy creature underneath the facility and it's cold and it's sick and it's dying. The right thing to do is definitely to put it out of its misery. And if you're doing the actual um, uh, facilities and you're trying to get, you know, parts or nanites, technology, whatever it is that you're after from these facilities, if you don't answer that, um, it won't um, work. You won't get access, you know. So, Apollo is, uh, oops. Apollo is, uh, registering the complaints of the Sentinels. We just have to wait them out. Oh, for goodness sake. We might not be able to wait them out, because I might not be well hidden enough. One more star. There we go. Each star has to go through a countdown. I know it was hard to see in this light, but in the upper right hand corner, I think I was at two or three stars when I blasted the door down. Each one of those stars has a countdown and you have to wait until each one of those countdowns is gone or you could get in your ship and fly into space uh, or you can fight them until they're all dead or do whatever you want to do. There's a there's a different way to do this for every player. There's no rule that says you have to do anything a certain way. Uh, freighter? I wonder if the freighter has room for any more crap. Oh, it's a marrow ball. I'm like, what is that right there? Okay. Return to space and report to Apollo. I can't believe I missed that tree. I was reaching, <laughs> reaching for my monster and I missed the tree. Uh, 
Ah, uh, your attack on that factory paid off. No, I didn't get any data. I wasn't looking for it. I euthanized a poor little creature. Not as pet in a former life. I recorded countless signal flares when the sentinels started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet and then everything else. <laughs> All right. How about now? Yes, now Nada wants to pay me. Yes, not. I will take your payment now. <laughs> I'm just going to move the anomaly. Hopefully they fix this. Uh, there was a period of time if you move the anomaly within the same star system, it wouldn't fully render the second time. <laughs> There's lots of times I watched Moose walk around on the anomaly and it had no floor. And uh, I was just like, nope, nope, not me. I'm not getting out of my ship until the floor renders. Because <laughs> I'm a chicken. If you are um, still working on the expedition uh, on your save, you can come and go uh, through the machine. Uh, I cannot go back. Uh, I still can, as someone pointed out, uh, create this multi-tool if I want to. I can create more copies of it. I can also create this uh, Utopia speeder or more copies of it and uh, have lots of lots of ships to uh, take to space stations and break down. Uh, and uh, I believe it's a bug. It was pointed out to me as a bug. Am I in the right place? No. Nada, where's your office? There we go. Elevator going up. So you can do that uh, at least a couple of times, uh, I was told. I'm going to tell him Apollo's plan, because it's not as the boss of me. <laughs> Apollo has kept us safe. Do what you must, traveler. But I warn you, the portals are a dangerous place. Continue with Apollo's plan. Oh, is this the weekend? Oh yeah, Hadel cores. Probably have some. <laughs> That's just wrong. Um, yeah, I've got one. Mm, I only have one Hadel core. Let's see if I went off and did that mission right now. Which you can do, because it brings you right back here. But if I went off and did that mission right now, I'd have to go actually collect Hadel cores. Alright, back to uh, the plan. A leap in the dark. Here we go. Follow the Sentinel Energy Trace. Check. Perform a scan to find a portal ley lines. Uh, nowadays, you can let it lead you with that little marker. Uh, is that new since Worlds or new since the last update? Uh, either way, we used to have to actually find that marker, marker and then sometimes it was teeny. But uh, now it guides you through space. Just keep staring forward and you'll see the marker tell you which way to go. It is super late at night, guys. <laughs> it's uh, 11.30, which is super late for me. Uh, what am I looking for? Um, a building. I'm looking for a building. There's a building. Is it the right kind of building? No, it's a beacon. Hey, it's a beacon. Let's go find a minor settlement. <clears throat> and then I think we have to find, like, an a ancient uh, plaque. I think it's a plaque. Am 
Miner's settlement. All right, where am I going? That way? A thousand units. Are you kidding me? Does a ship have fuel? Yeah. <laughs> Upsy daisy. <laughs> oh, hello. You're in my way. You should move. I don't think I realized, like, I've been on the planet a few times, and I knew that there was giant floras here, but I, did, I don't think I realized quite how, like, heavy the flora is. <laughs> this is definitely preferable to flying into all of the things. Oh, I forgot about that shield. Oh, darn it. I just used the uh, ammonia. Up there, you say. Gosh darn it. Oh. I can't do this with rocket boots on. It's actually on the other side of that mountain, so... Let's go around. Oh, I, did you see me? I just went through that thing completely. Is that my base over there? No, it's that crashed ship. <laughs> oh, holy Hannah, that was a long way down. <laughs> Fool stuff. No. <laughs> the other day I was blasting them out of the ground as I flew past with my terrain manipulator. I think that was during the live stream. Oh, it's right there. Oh, gosh. There's something flying over my head. Did I really pass it? Oh my gosh, I went right past it. <laughs> I was tripping out on the condensed carbon and stuff, just enjoying myself, having fun, flying around without a care in the world. There's the black. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta do this three times. Uh, we need three sets of glyphs. This is only one of them. I don't know what to expect from this structure. Activate it. The Traveler Arrival. If I start reading all of this stuff, I'm gonna get, like, sad and <laughs> morose and stuff. Yeah, I know. I know you're there. You just forget about me, Sentinel. I'm not really here. No, no. No. You just calm down. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> oh, there's dihydrogen. <laughs> we can land on water, but we can't land on dihydrogen. somewhere. Hopefully we don't have to do that uh, search every time. Hopefully it just takes us directly to where we need to go. Viking word for greetings. I 
I'm here to witness the glyphs of an ancient traveler. Activate Traveler's Sin. Uh, this is all the lore, and uh, you can uh, read the lore, and I can tell you that it's about Null, but you won't understand what that means until you actually do the whole mission and meet Null and find out what he's all about. Oh, do I have to wait for my scanner? I scan too soon? An arrow. There we go. Oh, it's really cool. Look at the purple nebula. This monolith is going to show us where a portal is, but uh, only for this mission. So if you don't want to use a map and try to solve um, a monolith uh, quest thing, then mark this uh, portal that this gives you. I think you can still use it, I'm pretty sure. Activate. A purpose for the traveler has no purpose. <laughs> In my head I'm hearing the word porpoise. <laughs> All right. Locate and activate a portal. All right. Uh, Shippo? There you are. Up. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, stop going up. What's wrong with my mouse? <laughs> Go up. So, uh, since we live here in this star system, uh, I'm just going to drop a beacon on it. I think I probably already have a portal here, but I'm going to drop a beacon on this one. There's only one on each planet, but there's one on every planet. I don't know if that is because the planets have to have a portal in order for the game to identify their location, but uh, this one most definitely does. All right. Tell me your address. Breach, breach, breach. <laughs> Input the glyphs. And a kawoosh. <laughs> now we only have 38 minutes to get through. At least according to Stargate. Let's go! Atlas, I don't have time for a lot of goofballeriness. It's getting kind of lazy. Oh, there's a, a bubble cluster over there. I know, I know, sweet lady. It's a hostile system. You can pick up that bubble. All right, let's just do it because we can. Give me. Must be a living bubble creature here somewhere. There he is. <laughs> uh, can I not uh, tell where I am? Oh man, I can't get the points for that anymore. I don't know where I am. It must be outside space time. Oh no. Uh oh. The Atlas protocol has been initiated. 
Here we go. You have learned the Atlas word for you. <laughs> Can I learn any more Atlas words? <laughs> hey, I did. Atlas word for endless. I'm sure we already did an atlas. Uh, there it is. Speak with the Atlas. Check. As soon as I'm done getting all these bubbles. <laughs> and stealing this fuel. Hello, world. An audio recording plays. We were once travelers. We once aspired to be more than dirt and dust. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. Glass. Glass, glass, glass. Yes. Personality and interface. Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul, all of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them. It's something is happening. Submit. Try to submit, but it's too late for that. Uh-oh. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> I think we might get zoomed. Oh no, that's at the end. At the end you go through one of these and then you get zoomed somewhere else. We're on Japu. Japu is in the jostle system. Which way was I facing when I started this thing? Oh wait, we were always in Japu, always in the jostle system. <laughs> Shippo, there we go. Oh, that means I can get my points now. Cool, 250 nanites. <laughs> we gotta get back to our ship and maybe fix it. I don't, uh, I don't know if that still happens, if your ship still gets broken when the Atlas throws it down onto a planet. Don't goo on me. I don't appreciate goo. My god, is it miles away? No. <laughs> that has happened to me. And I know it's happened to other people too, where it's like two or three thousand units away. It's like ten minutes away or something. All right, let's get the stuff. We don't need to tell the Atlas where we are. It, it, it already knows. It put us here. <laughs> I don't feel like reconnecting to the net. I don't need all this crap. All right, you guys. Uh, next up uh, is uh, I don't remember. Uh, next up after Leap in the Dark. We'll find out tomorrow. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so very much for coming along. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. Questions and comments below. Uh, be nice, you know. It's really late at night. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.